Uh, I'm Richard C. Ford II, uh, Fire Commissioner of the Chicago Fire Department. Um, got a few years of service. Uh, <laughs> it's been a, uh, a, a great career and uh, I, I've worked with thousands of guys that are really, and ladies that are absolutely fantastic. I uh, wouldn't give it up for anything. Husband, uh, father, mentor, educator, um, motorcyclist enthusiast, um, sportsman, uh, kind of the tech guy with computers. Uh, I enjoy that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to spending more time doing that. Um, and there's so many others, so auto mechanics, I mean, we, we've done a plethora of things. As most firemen, you have those psychomotor skills that you did develop from your teenage years going up, and we, we've done a plethora of things, like myself included. I was drawn to being able to help people in something a little bit more challenging. And the science part of the fire department really just intrigued me, so not often you get a chance to let your nerdiness go and uh, it'd be beneficial as you travel up through the ranks of the fire department. Stay positive, stay in school, never stop learning, you have to become part of the game. You have to learn for the game, because it is. A lot of things that you have to learn, take every hands-on class that you can. Um, maintain in school, maintain your school, stay in school, get your degree. Uh, they offer up to now doctorates uh, in fire science. Uh, stay in school. Uh, make yourself the best resource that you can for your department and for your family. Extremely important as a mentor to look out to young people and, and grab that young man or grab that young lady and say, hey, listen, let's have a discussion. What can you do? You can do better. This is how I think you should go and uh, proceed. I still talk to my mentors uh, from time to time. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing because that that spark that you see in somebody and that that ability to make them feel really good and seek out that additional amount of experience and information and education is it's good and that's how the fire department should should promote and, and go forward. Actually, while still in the academy, we had just learned this learned this 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 technique called the Heimlich technique. Uh, and I went home and I'm sitting down and I'm talking with my wife and kids about things that are going on. And uh, we're having pork and beans and some and mac and cheese. And the little body starts choking on something. Well, I just learned this maneuver. Put him in position, up comes this piece of meat. Okay, hey, good thing. Really, really. As a matter of fact, uh, that impressed my one of my kids so much he became a doctor. There's so many things that you can do on, in the fire service that help everyone and it really gives you that good feeling. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have uh, been on busy companies, truck companies where we perform rescues and brought people out and performed CPR and brought them back. Um, I obtained my EMT uh, license, uh, I've delivered five babies, I mean some of these things are just, uh, you know, they, they make you feel good. You, you, you've done what you needed to do and you put your part in. We have a country that is about as diverse as you can get. Diversity brings in different, different views, different cultures, and that when you work together gives you a, a broad view of how you can look at things and, and develop fixes for things. And by having a really diverse group of people, uh, you come up with some really challenging solutions, which is, it can be implemented and is beneficial for the department. Diversity is a strength of the fire department. It's not so, something that's a weakness. It's something we should all do. They, they say, uh, he never gave up on us. He always fought for us, and that's that I hope they say.